Greetings. This is a volcano and earthquake watch for September 22 through to September 26. I'm expecting conditions to step up in terms of seismic activities, mainly due to celestial influences and some significant solar features on the solar corona, with a possibility of a 7.5 magnitude earthquake during this watch. We're now looking at the latest solar wind telemetry from ACE, and we get to see fairly quiet conditions in solar wind speeds over the last 48 hours. I'm expecting these conditions to change quite violently around September 22 to September 23, mainly due to C-class solar flares being recorded not too long ago. The C6 and C9-class events were earthbound and earth-directed from sunspot groups that were located at this centre. Now looking at Cygnus Streamer, where we get to see a full halo coronal mass ejection as released from the solar corona back on September 19th. Now this is earthbound and earth-directed, Therefore, this should hit the Earth's magnetic field sometime late September 22 or early September 23. This could coincide with a seismic shock or a significant earthquake upon the arrival of this coronal mass ejection on our Earth's magnetic field. We're now looking at the latest coronal hole information via Solon.info, and we get to see one feature deep down in the southern hemisphere that has caught my attention, and I will be focusing on this region during this watch. Now looking at a split screen between the SDO moving imagery and also the 193 angstrom and focusing on this hole region deep down in the southern hemisphere which is not classified as a coronal hole. But there is a high speed solar wind stream exiting this hole on the solar corona and that would mean a strong likelihood of a fairly powerful earthquake from this region. I have isolated 22 to 27 degrees south latitude as the main area of concern for the southern hemisphere for this watch and the most likely fit area or best mapped area from sun to earth is a region of Antofagasta, Chile. And my second area of concern is the Kamatic Islands, stretching up towards the Tonga, and also the south of Fiji region. Now this is a region that produced a 7.3 earthquake back on September 15, and that is worth keeping a close notice of, as we may see another earthquake, a large earthquake, in this region. And the final area of concern is the plate boundary region of Easter Islands. We're now looking at the Northern Hemisphere with the 193 angstrom and solar monitor and there is another region high up in the northern latitudes that may produce a significant earthquake and I will be plotting and mapping this region now. Solar symmetry indicates the northeastern flank of the Pacific Ocean could be at risk for a significant earthquake and the main areas of focus will be the Kodak Islands region, southern Alaska, the Gulf of Alaska and also the Alaskan Peninsula. These will be the main areas of focus for these latitude zones of 56 to 60 degrees north latitude. And my final area of concern is the opposite end of the Pacific in the Russian region, and that's Koryansky and the Kamchatka Peninsula. As we do have some active volcanoes in this region that are of note, it's also worth noting that the Cleveland volcano is also along the same latitude as these volcanoes in Russia, and they're centered around 53 degrees north latitude and worth keeping a close notice of although they're out of the target range. Now looking at the 193 angstrom with solar monitor, and there are some regions in the northern hemisphere that may produce a significant earthquake, and I have focused on 22 to 26 degrees north latitude. I'm now going to target two zones that I feel would be most at risk for a significant earthquake based on solar symmetry, and my first area of concern would be the region of Ryukyu Islands, stretching down towards the North Taiwan region. And my second area of concern for the 22 to 26 degrees north latitude zones are Yunnan, China, and also Myanmar. These will be the main areas of concern for this hole and feature on the solar corona. We're now looking at the outgoing long wave radiation anomaly. This is showing parts of the globe that could be susceptible of some significant seismic events based on radiation signatures, and the main areas we're focusing on are shaded in darkish green. And the main regions this week are showing up in the Gujarat region in India. We also see a signature, fairly large signature, up around the Mariana Islands, Volcano Islands region, Japan. There's also a signature around the Christchurch region in New Zealand, which is of note. The west coast of America is showing up for its first time. We also see a region just south of the Alaskan Islands, and that's the main areas of concern for this watch. We're now looking at the ionospheric delay, and we get to see some powerful readings on this service, and they are continuing even after the large earthquakes that we have been receiving over the last week, which is of concern. Now the main regions that are showing up on this service are Central America, and also the regions 
south of the Japan Islands, stretching up towards India. These are the main regions of concern, and we have had significant earthquakes in these regions over the last week, which is of concern. And that's my volcano and earthquake watch for September 20. For more information, please visit my website at solarwatcher.net. Annotations will be added during and at the end of the video. Thanks for watching.